So my name is Betsy Bauer. <laughs> but I love the creativity and the spelling here. All right, off um, you go, off you go. I'm here to talk about how you can change the world by doing what you love. I am from Wyoming. I'm from Casper, Wyoming. And Wyoming is um, home of the jackalope. And um, this is me riding a, an actual jackalope. It's a bucking jackalope. And um, I, I could become pro. So I grew up blacksmithing. My dad um, in the far right, this was years ago. I was like actually the second, the little person there. And that's Deloy Larson with his arm around me. And I was kind of a little tomboy. I learned how to weld when I was 12 and um, started blacksmithing when I was like about 13. My dad would take me down to Utah and go to these blacksmithing seminars. And this is Ira Sherman, my cousin, who is, who's in Denver where I'm at now. And um, he's a well-known metalsmith for his chastity couture that he does with, he does metal chastity belts that are wearable and he puts these in fashion shows and he was a huge inspiration to me so i wanted to run away and join the circus i made this lira here the the round hoop and um i performed on it in a thing um called dancing with the stars of casper for a fundraiser and um that i became one of my side things that i did for fun because i feel like when you're doing what you love when you do what you love in your life, then that's when things make sense. I built this bicycle to go to Burning Man with, and this is Burning Man. If you've never been, I recommend it. And Burning Man changed my life. In Burning Man, I saw so many sculptures, so many people doing what they love, dressing up in costumes and just letting your inner child free. And um, this is me on the phone with God. And uh, where, at Burning Man, I learned to live my passion. I decided in 2009 that I was gonna go back home and I was going to do what I love and I was gonna find a way to monetize it and I didn't care what it took. Um, so I went back, I put together an art show and I built this table and I just poured all of my passion into it. I was just like, I just wanna make something crazy. Like, I don't care how it looks. I don't care if it's normal, I'm just gonna put it together. And so my friend Kate and I, we had an art show at a coffee shop. And it was like my first debut. And my friend Sean Rivet came through and he saw that table and he's like, I have a job for you. And he, he asked me to do this tree piece for his bar top. And um, from there it caught fire. People are, he, he started commissioning me to do other pieces and um, then other people caught on and they're like, okay, well, we want you to do this. And this was another piece I did for Sean Rivet. Um, these were, it's just like a silver, some silverware that I blacksmith and twisted. And, um, and he, he got really wild with his ideas. And then I made his ideas come to life and it inspired me to, to really explore my creativity. And um, that led to more pieces being made. And one of my friends, I was in a band with Eric Wimmer and he wrote an article about me for the 307 magazine. And, um, and from there, more people heard about me in the Wyoming Medical Center um, they called me and asked me to do a piece for the lobby. So when you enter into it, it just felt light and happy. And so I rolled out a thousand copper leaves and these are all copper. And um, I, it, it took like 300 hours to create this piece. And so I enlisted a hundred of my friends or not a hundred of my friends, uh, several of my friends to put in a hundred hours and help me complete this piece on time. And, and so this now lives in the lobby of the Wyoming Medical Center. And it was just like one job led to the next, which led to the next, which led to the next. And, um, and, and so it, it started building a career for me. And I was like, it is possible. You can live your dreams. You can do what you love for a living. And um, this piece was for um, the NC, uh, Wyoming Symphony Orchestra entrance to the orchestra hall. And so it's made out of instruments all compiled together to make one sort of life-size Mustang. And um, yes, so uh, this is an art show. So I did an art show based on my dreams. And so the symbols in my dreams, I decided to make art pieces out of. And this is a raven that my friend Connie Morgan put the neon on. And um, I, this was actually last year, they shut down the museum and, they, and I didn't know if it was gonna open up again and they opened it back up right in time for my show. These are my sisters. I'm on the right. And so I, um, 
I took all these pieces. This one was a saw blade that I cut um, some sacred geometry patterns onto and then shined light onto it to make it glow and created this dreamlike experience. Um, so when you walk through the museum, you kind of feel like you're in an altered state. You feel like you're entering a dream. And I did this to work with the symbols in my dream to kind of uncover like what, what that piece means, what that symbol means. And, um, and so, and this is what I feel like everyone should do when you take your dreams, when you take your creativity and you do something with you, put it out into the world. Um, and these are, these are actually leaves for a memorial piece that I did. These were etched in acid to get the, um, the vein patterns into the leaves and then put onto these roses. And the roses are actually memorial pieces that go, um, that screw into the vases that you put next to the grave. And these are the baby's breath that I, um, I welded, I TIG welded a thousand little BBs onto, um, onto welding stick and welding wire and um, created that and created these bouquets. And I think the rose is coming next, you'll see that. And um, there it is, <laughs> yeah. And so this lives on to, to honor the dead, to honor those who have passed before us. And um, yeah, so yeah, this is what I do. I want to inspire people to, to really harness their creativity and do something with it. And because when we, when we use our creativity, we, um, we're, in a, we're able to get in touch with our inner child and we're able to access that freedom and access that creativity that can really heal our heal ourselves and heal the planet thank you <laughs>